As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither was Fort Drum. Over the next few minutes, we'll take you through the founding, building, and expansion of Fort Drum to what you see around you today. In 1906, Colonel Philip Reed, commander of the Madison Barracks at Sackett's Harbor, was sent to find acceptable land tracks for Army maneuver training in the Northeast. He found Pine Plains in the Great Bend of the Black River to be an ideal place to train troops. While purchasing the land took some time, the Army leased Pine Plains in 1908 for a major maneuver exercise. Over 12,000 troops participated in the exercise over a four-week period. General Frederick Dent Grant, son of Ulysses S. Grant, commanded the exercise. The following year, money was allocated to purchase the land, and summer training continued there throughout the years. With the outbreak of World War II, the area then known as Pine Camp was selected for a major expansion, and an additional 75,000 acres of land was purchased. Contractors went to work building a city to house the division scheduled to train there. In just 10 months, they erected 800 buildings, including a hospital. Three divisions were selected to train at Pine Camp, Patton's 4th Armored Division, the 45th Infantry Division, and the 5th Armored Division. Pine Camp also served as a prisoner of war camp during World War II. It was renamed Camp Drum in 1951 after General Hugh A. Drum, advocate of the Pine Camp expansion in the 1940s and commander of the 1st Army in World War II. Camp Drum was redesignated Fort Drum in 1974, and a permanent garrison of about 200 soldiers was assigned there. From Memorial Day to Labor Day, Fort Drum was the rotational home for about 85,000 National Guard and Reserve troops conducting training. In the early 1980s, the Army came up with the concept of the Light Infantry Division. At the time, there were two types of divisions. Armored or mechanized, intended to fight in Europe, could do a lot of fighting, but they were big and slow to move. The airborne air assault divisions could be anywhere in the world in about 12 hours, but they lacked staying power once they got there. The light infantry concept offered combat-ready troops who are rapidly deployable anywhere in the world. The 10th Light Infantry Division was activated at Fort Drum in 1984. Although Fort Drum had been established for a while, a completely new, large-scale installation had to be built on top of the old post. That task fell on Brigadier General William Carpenter. Carpenter was a graduate of West Point Military Academy and a Vietnam veteran. His task was daunting. Build an installation large enough to house and train the new 10,000 soldier division, develop the plan for training and equipping that unit, and have them ready to deploy within three years. Between 1986 and 1992, on a budget of $1.3 million, 130 new buildings, 35 miles of roads, and nearly 4,000 sets of family housing were built for the Army's newest division. Wheeler Sack Army Airfield also underwent renovations. A 10,000-foot runway was completed in 1998, allowing any size aircraft in the world to land there. Also completed was the Rapid Deployment Facility, allowing the speedy processing of incoming and outgoing troops and aircraft transports. Fort Drum was at the forefront of total force training. While the 10th conducted continuous training at Fort Drum, the base was also used by Navy and Air Force personnel to facilitate real-time training. Integrating these training events transformed how we train and fight today. By bringing the services together on one mission concept, the Department of Defense gained a better trained, more adaptable fighting force across the board. Driving around Fort Drum, it is apparent that history and military lineage play an important role in the lives of the soldiers here. Roadways and buildings are named for battles, locations, and personalities from Army history. McGrath Sports Complex and Monty Jim are both named after Medal of Honor winners from the 10th Mountain Division. The Ernest Childers Indoor Weapons Training Facility is named after the first Native American soldier to receive the Medal of Honor. He trained at Pine Camp while serving with the 45th Infantry Division and received the Medal of Honor for actions while serving in Italy during World War II. The Clark Soldier Support Center is named for General Mark Clark, a famous commander in both World War II and the Korean War. Fort Drum continues to grow and stays at the forefront of modern training techniques and technology. Welcome to Fort Drum, 
home of America's Light Infantry Division.